What's up, water signs? Welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome, guys. This is your element reading, okay? This is for the element of water, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. This is going to be from November 30th through December 22nd, so all the way to the middle of December. Happy holidays, guys. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving for those who celebrate it, okay? Um, I know I had a good time, so let's get into this. Uh, we're going to see the overall energy first for water, and then we're going to get into your individual signs, and these are going to be semi-brief, okay? So I won't get too deep here. We're just going to see overall what is the energy for the water elements from November 30th through December 22nd. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your shares, and your comments, and your subscriptions. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the bell, notification bell, so you have updates when my readings come out. If you need any guidance or just to see what kind of energy is circling you at this time, you know. So don't forget to do that and let's get into it let's see what's going on for the water signs for the holiday season what's up i will be using today my intergalactic plus oracle it's tarot plus oracle all of my decks will be below the video in the description box below one more shuffle spirit surrounds me at this time and let's see what they have to say what are they picking up and remember guys this is general so it won't resonate for every Scorpio Pisces and cancer or water sign you know so take it as it resonates take what re you resonate with leave the rest some of you might resonate with all some none and some some of it if it's not your story it's not your reading don't take it personal just come back next time or you know, I do many different types of readings, so come back and watch your, you know, your monthly zodiac sign or two-week forecast. I also do twin flame readings. But let's continue. Let's see what's happening here. So we have the chariot, the knight of cups, judgment. Nine of Cups, yes, 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 and Karma, mm -hmm. okay, all right, so, so far for the water signs, whoever's dealing with this situation for water signs, there is some sort of karmic lesson here, okay, with Karma here and Judgment. All right, and whoever's in the Knight of Cups energy, that is water, okay. Um, but I see victory here with the chariot. You're on a specific path here, all right. So you might have went through a karmic relationship or situation, but it was something to keep you moving forward. You see the, the North Star here with the chariot. Um, so you guys are moving forward here. It could be from someone that caused um, quite a bit in your life uh, a bit of you know not a bit of change but a lot of change and um, I just see that you're moving forward now okay there's some kind of uh, rebirth or some kind of judgment going on here with uh, some of you may have a child here okay so you could have moved on from someone you had a child with that you learn major lessons I do also feel for others of you that there's someone you have karma with from the past that wants to come back around they want this wish fulfillment or you want this with them um, and there's still some karma here to be cleared be there's some kind of judgment being made here all right somebody could be uh, healing some kind of codependency or some form of toxicity here all right, so I feel like there's still a lesson here to be learned. Um, but I feel like you're closing out a chapter here, and the reason wish fulfillment is here 
is because you're learning those lessons and it's time for you to close that out here in 2020 okay somebody's coming towards you but I feel for some of you is somebody in the past coming back around and then there's someone else here that is a wish fulfillment so take these messages as it resonates um, because we have the Knight of Cups and the Chariot there's something big coming towards you is what I'm feeling and it's both has to do with uh, past life but with one of them is karmic so very interesting here so this is going to resonate probably differently for Scorpio Pisces and Cancer okay let's see what else is going on here for you guys yeah Ace of Cups mm -hmm. three of Pentacles yeah there's definitely uh, two this is going to be different so for some of you somebody from the past is coming back to romance you you still have karma with this person it is a karmic situation others of you the chariot represents and judgment represents someone that was born and on this earth that you have a past life connection with a big past life connection with uh, could be a light worker here for some and it's your wish fulfillment it's new love here with the ace of cups but it has to do to healing because for others of you you went through something big karmically with someone that pushed you forward into learning a lot about yourself and now someone is coming towards you that is wish fulfillment meaning somebody that will be matching your your sense of your new sense of self and freedom and vibration your higher self yeah we have absent nostalgic and withdrawn we have the star a lot of healing here okay wish fulfillment with the star and the nine of cups six of pentacles someone you can work with you know equal giving and receiving a nice balance here and the page of wands yeah so definitely getting two stories here for some of you you're dealing with both others of you it's one or the other um, yeah I see somebody that you're definitely not talking to that you moved on from that was you know more withdrawn it they rather think about you in their mind kind of thing uh, but this person might reach out there's a message in his pocket right here um, they might reach out but they're thinking about this and definitely with judgment here that's a major arcana I feel like that person is coming back around for those who are resonating with that but this person is immature is what I'm getting here okay but for the new love um, this is healing love this is higher love this has to do everything with the fact that you healed especially with the star and the nine of cups or that you've been healing and growing and moving forward um, and there will be victory with the chariot and I feel like you guys could be light workers um, but the three of Pentacles is like soul contracts as well to me especially when I see it with judgment here so that's what we got for the intro now we're gonna get into your individual signs I do want to I want to clarify something here let's see yeah <laughs> somebody's gonna communicate with you from the past uh, for others of you this is a new message for those who are resonating with the ace of cups the new love but I do feel like for others of you it's someone that you left behind they're kind of they have not grown past the page okay so they're they're still stuck in their ways and they they have karma to clear okay whoever this is but they're watching you I feel here online and they do want to communicate with you there's a phone here as well all right and they're thinking about it yeah endings bring new beginnings with the world card okay so definitely ace of cups with the world that's new beginnings new love and with the chariot and the star and the nine of cups that is wish fulfillment you're you're on a 
pretty awesome path at this time whoever's resonating with the healing and new love coming in um and i'm telling you somebody closed out a major chapter with the world karma and judgment so whoever's resonating with both that is why that is there so somebody from the past you close out a major cycle with you learned major lessons because the world is uh, Saturn and tarot and it will teach you a lot of karmic lessons so and I see the healing here and um, yeah so new beginnings for you guys so this person when they come to you they don't know what what what's gonna hit them I don't even know why they're trying with the page of wands but they're gonna try to reach out nonetheless all right now let's get into your individual signs we'll be getting into Scorpio first uh, timestamps will be below in the video okay and let's get to it I'll see you guys there bye bye Scorpio welcome to your reading for November 30th through December 22nd happy holidays so let's see what is going on with you guys I will be using my intergalactic tarot plus oracle all of my decks will be in the bottom below in the description box so let's see Scorpio what is going on two more shuffles my guys every day I'm shuffling shuffling what's going on mm. Somebody in the matrix watching you. Low vibes. Somebody wants to. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. You're stirring up the hate in somebody. And it's probably just because you're shining. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Yep. <laughs> Dragon's breath. Spiritual initiation. Ascension to spiritual and mystical heights. Purification. Scorpio's ascending. People going to hate. Six of Cups. This could be nostalgia, thinking about things from the past or a specific person. Yep. <laughs> We're thinking about how we closed a chapter and ended that shit. Okay. The Death Card. Yeah. Definitely with the Dragon's Breath and the Death Card here, something from the path puts you in the Phoenix rising. You will never be the same. Okay. Never ever. Five of Wands. I don't know if you can see that. There's a woman here holding a sword. There's a little creepy crawler thing over here. And then this is like the Emperor over here. And we have the Strength card. Okay. Wow. In your strength, you shall establish. I get that a lot, Scorpios, and you are no exception. There's definitely whatever happened here in the past that is over really transformed you. Okay? You are ascending, meaning you're raising your vibration. You're starting to see clear. You're starting to know thyself first and foremost more deeply. Okay? You have a lot of soul evolution going on here. And, you know, there was a lot of um, conflicting views with someone from the past. But you're coming out victorious here. So whatever held you back, I mean, you're in your strength as far as I'm concerned right now. Um, there could be someone else in your energy as well going through this very same thing. Okay, so we're going to see what that's about. You were you you're only the strong survive is what I'm hearing. So there you go. You made it out alive. You made it out stronger than ever before. You will never be the same. Okay. You became like that lion. Even if you were the cowardly lion, you are not anymore. All right. So that's your energy at this time. Um, so it's really powerful energy. It's really good. So let's get into the light seers deck here. And let's see what else we got here. I 
feel like in this reading someone's mirroring what you went through and there could be going through it at this time let's see what else we got one more shuffle I'm feeling some high vibes Scorpio high vibes is what I'm getting here so let's see eight of cups walked away from that ass that's right mm-hmm something left you empty-handed you learned the lesson okay you did learn the lesson here ten of cups you're walking towards <laughs> you had eight cups of non-fulfillment and now you're walking towards your ten of cups that's two extra cups meaning I feel you're walking into someone that you are going to be spiritually connected to here ten of cups your abundance this is unconditional love and if you have unconditional love for someone in the past for those of you who dealt with a kind of like a karmic soulmate you will always have unconditional love but because you know you're connected but you're you, you know when it's time to walk away and you're saying goodbye to that chapter in your life there is a new chapter in front of you that involves a lot of wish fulfillment a lot of self-love unconditional love happiness abundance like that's what you're walking towards where you will be completely satisfied with yourself and the people you attract into your life so that's beautiful yeah we have the hermit you've learned a lot okay Virgo energy King of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn all right you could be focusing on your finances but I also see like I like I picked up on especially with the ten of cups here somebody could very well be mirroring that energy that you went through and they could be going through this ascension and it's someone that you are going to be happy with all right but I also see you focused on your abundance on establishing an abundant lifestyle a very happy lifestyle yeah and it takes time you know that time to grow you were a seed right so we do feel sometimes we're being buried by someone but really we're being planted in the ground in order to grow and when we see the light we see our potential right so someone here also could be taking that time this is all in divine order here with the seven of cups I mean, excuse me the ten of cups and the seven of pentacles yeah nine of pentacles your freedom your independence okay being more financially stable definitely you're taking time to work on your independence and your finances so if you had any type of codependency issues in the past that's something that you're definitely working on and you're achieving here so you're planting seeds and enjoying the fruits of your labor is what I'm seeing especially from the seven to the nine so very well very good that's why I get in your strength you will establish and you are establishing something here so let's see let's get another round yeah the lovers mm -hmm. walking away from somebody you were connected to but I feel you're walking away I mean walking in to someone that matches your vibration now okay beautiful beautiful ten of cups look at that see see what happens when you walk the path of faith this is faith and healing it leads you to your ten of cups and a healing connection a beautiful connection written in the stars fated to happen its destiny so that's beautiful energy I love that I like it a lot the hermit see you're coming up with a master plan and you're gonna be very successful with the ten of Pentacles king of Pentacles and nine of Pentacles so moving on was the best thing you ever did all right and it's gonna lead I mean you have all the great cards here you have ten of cups and the ten of Pentacles 
with the strength card and the lovers all right this is and the star beautiful cards to have so in your strength you shall establish quite a bit your lineage for your your children to grow and and have faith in their own path and in themselves especially when we're ascending you know I mean the parent you're gonna be is phenomenal okay as well as anybody that's matching that vibration that you're in at this time or are growing into um, you guys are gonna be great parents but you boy you're establishing some great wealth here very nice meant to happen you're meant to walk this path let's talk about this king of Pentacles yeah somebody's watching you mm-hmm I'm telling you I feel like there's somebody mirroring what you went through and they're still healing perhaps but they they have you in their sights but also for others of you um, or if you're dealing with both situations you're doing a lot of research when it comes to your finances okay if not take some time to do that I feel is what spirit is saying here because you're gonna fall into something that's going to be very fruitful okay but it takes time all right so let's see but yeah somebody definitely could be watching you as well yeah oh my god Scorpio it's like coins it's raining coins here okay this is like let's make it rain ace of pentacles with the seven of pentacles this is also a tangible offer some of you guys could get an opportunity when it comes to business a big opportunity but it takes time here in divine timing I feel like you're you're being guided here towards your abundance okay so pay attention to the signs I feel here with the page of swords as well um, and you're being guided towards somebody here that's divinely guided with the star and the, and the lovers this is very passionate very magical energy with the star and the lovers um, it's very um, very mystical energy especially with dragon's breath um, some of you guys could have the sign of the dragon your Chinese sign this is a very very grounded energy a lot of coins here a lot of Pentacles this is beautiful Scorpio I would get excited over this this is nice let's get one more here yeah somebody's watching you also Scorpio at this time you could be thinking about love if you're single here with the nine of Pentacles you know you could be thinking about romance you know having that beautiful abundant connection and definitely I feel somebody is watching you and wants to romance you it's like they see you over there having a good time being independent working on your finances your skills somebody's watching you over here like wow she's fine I, I want to go on this love journey with this person and that's what I'm feeling here and this is not just anybody this is huge this is a very in-depth very connected connection here I mean ace of Pentacles with the seven of Pentacles something is about to blossom here it's it's time for to enjoy the fruits of your labor is what I'm getting as well Wow sprouting season baby I'm getting a lot of springtime energy here all right that's when everything blooms the love is in the air here in spring that's what I'm getting okay let's get you some messages here love is in the air mm -hmm. let's see and this is my expressions of the fall message medley deck let's see what we got two more shuffles my guides can it be twin flame absolutely with the lovers here the star definitely it's a soul connection 
it's a divine soul connection I feel very guided um, so there are no mistakes no coincidences you're on the right path here that you signed up for before you came into this life you're definitely there talk is cheap it's time for some action yeah so somebody here is walking away from a lover I'm telling you somebody's mirroring what you're doing but this could be what you're doing at this time or this is what you did you said it's time for action talk is cheap or you know somebody didn't they didn't go after you for some reason when they should have or they were too scared they got spooked because of the connection in the past here and it was just time to go okay it was time to go yeah the star with the ten of cups somebody's definitely looking at you lip smack I can't wait to kiss you sparks are gonna fly you guys the energy when you meet this person Scorpio it's gonna be so high vibe this is higher love it's like bring me a higher love whoa it's you guys are gonna be like oh my god like floating in the air because the energy you both emanate is very magical between you you know dragons are very magical so I, I do feel like somebody here or maybe even both of you have the sign of the dragon for some of you it, it's just beautiful and when you guys kiss oh my god the sparks are gonna fly the sparks are gonna fly lip smack I can't wait to kiss you beautiful I love it this is beautiful energy Scorpio now let's talk about the hermit and the ten of pentacles yeah people are hating on you fake friends what did I say haters gossip keep doing you you're doing something right when I started the reading that's the energy I was getting somebody's hating on you but that's because why because you're es establishing something for yourself with the ten of pentacles and the hermit you're working in silence and people can't stand it but spirit is saying keep doing you because you're doing something right that's why we have haters if you don't have haters you should be worried <laughs> you should be worried all right let's see what else look at that somebody's watching you Scorpio in my heart there's only you girl you make my dreams come true hold me tight don't let me go in my heart is all I know something like that I don't even remember where that song came from who sang that anyways somebody is watching you and in their heart Scorpio there is only you Virgo Taurus Capricorn it doesn't have to be that it could be air as well Aquarius Gemini Libra but wow I'm telling you something is coming and in divine timing I feel this person will ask you out okay I'm telling I'm, I'm feeling some springtime energy someone is curious about you Ooh, this is big connection coming to you Scorpio someone is curious about you I feel they've been watching you for some time now with the seven of Pentacles they're feelings have been growing for you over time with in my heart there's only you they could have been watching you slow and steady for some time but they had they had to go through some things themselves that's why this I feel this is very very divinely connected and orchestrated they see you knight of cups yeah look at that do you see jackpot vibrational match what have I been talking about you saw me shuffle I've been talking about you know when you raise your vibration a higher love vibrational match and they see you as that beautiful you could also see somebody as that if you know who this is okay maybe you're crushing on someone that's crushing on you but I feel somebody's been watching you okay 
for sure. Let's get one more round, Scorpio, and then we're done with that. Yeah, okay. So for the person that's walking away to come to you, or take it as it resonates, they're walking away from someone, okay? It was it probably due to passion here. But they're walking away. They learned a major lesson. They know talk is cheap. They know it's time for some action. I see that down here. They are crushing on you. They're thinking about you. They want to make a move on you. And thinking of you often leads me to self-pleasure. So this is going to be very passionate. Very, very passionate. I like it. So let's see. Lip smack. Yeah. Lesson learned. Better things to come. I mean, look at that. Better things to come. Lesson learned with healing, meaning wish fulfillment. Better things to come. Ten of cups. Somebody can't wait to kiss you and be in your presence. I'm telling you. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Hermit with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. This person will be a very important part of your life protective the good kind this is someone you will establish some things with a family with okay they might be someone that you know they like to um i feel like this person's kind of like cozy like they love family all right and they love to spend time with family also this could be your energy as well and i feel like I feel like this person also has a big family. It, it's almost like you need... Because for some of you, I feel like you've been in hermit mode, feeling alone for a while. You know, learning, um, maybe gaining some wisdom here. I see, I see it, the ascension here. Healing, you know, looking at ways to create more abundance in your life. And this person is very very family oriented i feel like they love to be around family and i feel like they will bring a lot of joy into your life as well it's a vibrational match so i feel like your energies are going to be so in sync and they're protective when it comes to their family so you become part of their family when they come to you and they will be protective especially like this card here that's a power couple to me that's divine masculine energy to me as well. And you know, that's like the nine of pentacles. So they're they're like your biggest supporter. And we have the infinity symbol here. So you might be meeting a twin flame is what I feel here. But whoever this is, you are connected on a soul level. For sure. With, you know, written in the stars and all that. Beautiful energy, Scorpio. I love it. And there will be haters, of course. Um, there could also be some haters in the family. I have to put point that out. This could be in your family, Scorpio. There could be some haters because they're going to see you living your best life, basically. So if you're not living your best life just yet, it says here, lesson learned, better things to come. You're going to be, and you might have some haters in your own family. Okay, as well as this person. But that just means you're doing something right. You know, just because it's blood doesn't mean that they're perfect or that they want the best for you. Unfortunately. Not all of them, you know. They have hate in their heart too. But it's just a matter of healing, you know, for them. So let's see. Let's talk about this King of Pentacles. In my heart, there's only you. Oh, look at that, Scorpio. Someone wants to open up about how they feel. This person wants to open up. They're watching you. They want to tell you something. They want to tell you how they feel. In their heart, there's only you. I mean, there you go. Someone is curious about you. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> Drinking from the same love potion. Can you feel the love tonight? Can you feel 
the love tonight. Yeah, you guys are crushing on each other is what I'm feeling here. Okay? That's what I'm feeling. This is growing over time. It's so beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful love story, Scorpio. Something is coming together for you, and it's big. Jackpot vibrational match with the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so someone here is taking it easy. They're probably reflecting on all of this. All right. Like I said, someone was mirroring your energy, so they could have broken up with someone. They're single now, and they're looking at you at some point because I feel like they could be going through healing with lesson learned in the star. Um, if it's just not you, okay? And um, they're resting and rejuvenating here and taking it easy. But they know that you match their energy. There's something about you that they feel, they see, and they want to get to know. And it's because it is fated to happen. It's connected. So beautiful. I love it. All right, Scorpio, that's what I got for you guys. You have a hell of a future in front of you and a beautiful love story. Um, <laughs> it hasn't even gotten started. I mean, it, it, but I can see the the connection here. And wow, this person's going to reveal themselves to you in time. Um, I feel like they're just healing right now. So that's why I'm getting springtime. That would make sense as far as them being ready and going sorting through these feelings these um, emotions after something here that happened okay um, but that could be you guys as well but I feel like you're both mirroring each other all right so that's why I'm feeling that twin flame energy which is basically a divine soul connection you guys know that all right Alright guys, that's what I have for you. I will be doing Pisces next, so I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Alright Pisces, welcome to your reading for November 30th all the way through December 22nd. Alright, thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Let's see what we got for you, okay, coming up. Uh, we're going to use my Intergalactic Tarot Plus Oracle. So let's see, Pisces, what is going on for you guys? Definitely some emotions here, heavy emotions. Let's see what's going on. Hopefully it's the lifting of the heavy emotions. Let's see going on Pisces what's going on <laughs> that just came out for Scorpio okay so a lot of ascension going on with the water signs okay we have dragon's breath spiritual initiation ascension to spiritual and mystical heights and purification okay so that's why I'm getting a lot of emotion um, definitely a lot of purging, a lot of um, energies being, you know, lifted, um, and it has to do with emotions here, connections of the heart space. So a lot of healing in the heart space here. Let's see what else we got? Yeah, the devil. Oof. Not the devil. Yep. Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm. Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody's. It's like a purification. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Pisces. Now, again, this could resonate with you or the other person. I'm trying to read it as your energy, okay? But there could also be another person surrounding you at this time. So definitely there's ascension and releasing some type of karmic situation here with the devil and the page of pentacles. We were at a crossroads here for a while. We could still be there, but we do want to go on some kind of romantic love journey. Again, this has to do with the heart space, with purging something.
from someone we learned a major lesson here with. All right, because there are other... I feel like you're entering... You see how he's entering here, he or she? You're entering a different cycle and something is being cycled out of your life. That's why you're ascending. You're no longer matching this vibration. This could be somebody younger than you or codependent on you. Okay? And you're raising your vibration, meaning this, you know, the devil, obviously, that's why the representation of the devil is living below its low vibes, right? With the dragon's breath is high vibes. So you're definitely shedding some type of old layer here and, and um, relationship, I feel, some kind of karmic tie. So there's something else and you're, I feel you're entering someone else's world here as well. Or someone here is entering your space. And they're very romantic. This is purity with the unicorn. It's unconditional. Um, it's pretty much that oneness, stillness, and soundness energy. Someone of a compassionate heart. But they went through something here. Okay. So let's see what else is going on, Pisces, for you. So you could have definitely been go have gone through some things there. But you are ascending. You're shedding your old skin. And and with that comes the release of whoever was surrounding you that taught you a lesson. So you're shedding whoever that is as well. One more shuffle, my guides. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of passion here with the star, a lot of healing. Okay, there's some kind of healing with your root chakra as well. Could be sexual healing here. Sexual healing. Something that's good for me. There you go. Let's see. Yeah, the moon. Mm-hmm. This is reflection. So somebody's definitely reflecting on how they feel, their emotions, something is being purified, purged, because they are ascending. So it definitely has to do with the mind and the heart um, coming together and being more in sync. Okay? Light and dark energies here with the wolves. The wolf can represent fear um, and illusions, but it could also represent, um, you know, freedom and um, instinct okay so the moon is a representation of what is being reflected to us something is being reflected here that you were tied to emotionally and I feel this is karmic energy here again we have the ace of cups so it's about purging whatever's there self-love self-worth unconditional love which we do have with the Knight of Cups here. And this energy will bring in a higher type of love as well. Deep emotions with the Moon and the Ace of Cups here. Wow. So definitely you're, you're reflecting on someone here. I feel like you either you just recently broke up with this person or you're about to with the crossroads. Yeah, Nine of Swords, a lot of deep reflection at night. Something is being shown to you, and it hurts because it has, it has to be shed. That's why your heart's trying to tell you something. And your mind. You know, you could have been conflicted within the mind and the heart for a while there. Because when we love someone, no matter what, um, they don't bring to the table. Sometimes we let our emotions cloud our decisions. And I feel like that was something very tough for you there. And um, yeah, you're definitely going through it right now. Again, take it as it resonates. It could be someone interested in you coming to, to you. But I'm reading it as your energy, all right? Let's see what else we have. Queen of Cups. More water energy. A lot of emotions here. If you haven't gone through this purge yet, 
expect this to happen, okay? Whew. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Somebody was a sneaky thief. They was lying here with the devil and the Seven of Swords and illusions. Again, we cared way too much for someone here. Okay, the heart wanted what it wanted, but it was a major lesson for you here. And like again, our emotions cloud our our gut instinct, our decisions. But with the dragon's breath being here first, that spiritual initiation, this is something that's already been being shed or has been shed. All right. Let's see. Page of Pentacles again. For some of you, this person's still trying to get a hold of you, all right? And they still want to pull the wool over your eyes. But I don't think you're going to fall for it this time. But they might make you feel... It's like reliving it all over again for some of you emotionally when this person sends you a message. So it's going to like... I hate to see this. See these people, man. It's like you're ascending, right? Or you have been. And then all of a sudden this person comes out of nowhere. Right when you're getting, you're walking a different path. And puts you in this Nine of Swords energy because they stir up your emotions again. It doesn't mean that you're going to fall for their tricks. But it does something to you emotionally. Let's get another round here. Yeah, justice. So justice is here for something you didn't see. So somebody here did something. They stabbed you in the back. They lied about something. And you didn't see it. But justice is here for this. Alright. They could have, you know, talked some shit or did something bad behind your back. Cheated, lied, whatever it was. There was some kind of deception there. Ace of Cups. Yeah, it took you some time. You know, you were on the road to healing. The Knight of Pentacles um, goes through some serious battle, okay? And then when they come out, it's time for a new chapter. But they learned a lot, slowly but surely. So this has been a journey of self-love and worth and ascension for you, okay? But also someone that... You could also have new love coming into your life. And this person's going to take their time because they could have gone through some serious things themselves. As we all often do. Okay. Let's talk about the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Somebody's running through your mind. Mm hmm. Or they want to be running through your mind. Somebody here. Also, somebody here can't escape their thoughts. So this could be the past person, somebody full of regret here. They can't sleep at night with whatever it was that they did that was unjust here. They have nightmares. Okay. Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is you moving forward with victory. So... I like to see that it took you a while. It was been it's been a long journey, but now you're moving faster with victory here. You're out of there. You have achieved self-love. You have earned that crown. Okay. This is compassion, unconditional love. You know, arms wide open. You under you understood the lesson is what I'm getting here. Seven of Swords. Yep. That's over. You see, somebody tried stabbing you in the back, but they ended up stabbing themselves. Because they're the ones that can't sleep at night, full of regret. And that's done. Scorpio, that's, I mean, Scorpio. Pisces. That is done. Like, you're, you, you've gone through that transformation. It doesn't even matter what they did or what they said that you didn't ever found out. It's over. I just feel like this person wants to reach out still. Like, it, it ain't over for them, you know?
I feel a lot of, I have to be honest, I feel a lot of envy with this person. Just be careful with this person. A lot of envious energy with these two cards and with the devil here. Yeah, I'm hearing this person is very unstable. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands again. Yeah, it's like you're you're on another journey here. You're ready to move forward. You know, we got a little um Volkswagen bus here with a little surfboard. You could be planning on taking a trip, you could have moved. Uh, for some of you and then all of a sudden boom this person just messages you now there could be a new message here though with the ace of cups but this is someone that's going to maybe like something on your social media maybe they're gonna send you a hi or a happy face this is somebody that treads with caution is what I'm feeling here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So let's go ahead and get some messages, Pisces. And I'm sorry if I've been saying Scorpio. I mean Pisces. We're going to use my Expressions of the Fall message medley deck. One more shuffle, my God. So as far as signs, you could be dealing with another Scorpio, um, another Pisces or Scorpio Cancer. Uh, there's also Libra here. Heavy on Scorpio and Pisces. And I see Aquarius or Gemini as well. And perhaps for some of you, um, everybody's here anyways, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Yeah, false connection, not in love, it's a masquerade. And that's with the moon and the justice card. Um, if for some of you this is going to mean different, somebody could have maybe lied to you, told you they loved you and they didn't. Others of you, they were acting like they were in love in the connection they were in but they weren't if they were wearing a mask definitely somebody here was wearing a mask regardless of how that plays out and they could have definitely talked a lot of crap behind your back let's talk about the ace of cups with the knight of pentacles yeah empath narcissist connection yikes you deserve better i definitely was picking up that vibe Yep, it took you a long time to learn this lesson because you did have a lot of emotions for this person. But hey, lesson learned. Sometimes, sometimes our heart clouds our mind till we ascend and then we achieve the balance and we see things for what they are next time around. So you've been doing a lot of healing, a lot of work here is what I see. Nine of Swords with the Knight. Yeah, I love you unconditionally, even if I never showed it. You see? So they ran with the Knight of Swords. They lied. They were wearing a mask because they did fall for you. But they hurt you really bad, whoever this was. Chariot with the Queen of Cups. My friends think you're hot. They tell me to go for it. Or they tell me I should go for it. Pisces, this could be someone new here, but we're going to see with the chariot. All right. This could go either way because we do have a black and white horse, so we're going to see. So somebody's watching you here. Let's talk about the death card with the seven of swords. Drinking from the same love potion. Can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, I just feel like this is behind you and there's something else here. That's what I'm feeling. I'll get another card on that in a little bit. Yep. 
Mr. or Mrs. Casanova. Keep your eyes peeled with this one. So definitely with the Page of Pentacles, this person has codependent issues. They are very immature. We had Page of Pentacles and the Devil here as well. They ran, of course, Knight of Swords. Very immature energy. This person was a narcissist, so it has it here. It was an empath narcissist connection. So if you dodged a bullet here as far as the relationship, maybe it was somebody you fell in love with, they were your friends. For some of you, you were in this relationship. Um, you know, this person, <laughs> page of pentacles to the queen of cups. They, they ain't got nothing on you, okay? Ain't got nothing on you. Let's take another round. Yeah, I will make a move and court you when the time is right. I'm planning. With justice here, I do feel like... I mean, yes, I do feel like this person might come back around. But I feel like there's someone else here with justice and this card. Somebody's planning to come to you. And I see it here with my friends think you're hot. They tell me I should go for it. Let's see. Yeah, unforgettable. They will never forget you. So this narcissist... Will never forget you. They loved you unconditionally, even if they didn't tell you. But they were narcissistic, so of course they weren't going to tell you. They have issues that are deeply, deeply rooted that they're simply not working on. Very connected to the devil energy. They have a lot of karma in their life. That's why you're moving forward. And and the divine is, is helping you move forward, okay? Um, let's see. Yeah, they're attracted to your mind, body, soul, and heart. And let's talk about the chariot with the queen of cups. Oh, uh, yeah, again, same person. That's double confirmation. Narcissistic personality, get off that high horse. My friends think you're hot. So, this is somebody that wants to come back into your life, basically, like I said before, to stir up your emotions. And it's because they fell for you, but they're never going to admit it to you. All right? They're trying to get their fix, that energy fix. This is like energy, vampire energy. Okay. Let's talk about drinking from the same... What did I say? Somebody was envious. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Envious. You just make it look easy. I think they're upset that you could just walk away and end this. They're not done with you just yet, in their mind. So definitely you've moved on here. So this is you with the Queen of Cups and the Chariot. You've learned the hard lesson. You're loving yourself. And they want, they want to mess that up. And you were both drinking from the same love potion. Wow. But you you learn more. You learn better. You grew. They didn't. They haven't. See what else is here. And they admire your wisdom. Go figure. Go figure. But again, things that they'll never admit to you that you can only get right here. <laughs> Narcissist people do not admit when they're feeling something or. The only way, the only time they tell you something positive is when they want to get something out of it. So be careful with that, okay? All right, Pisces. Um, I do want to get, what was it? Let me see. Yep. You don't want that person. Queen of Swords, that ass. You know exactly who this is. And you will wield that sword if you need to. You have gained a lot of wisdom. That's why they admire your wisdom. You've grown. Wisdom indeed. This is you. That person really put a hurting on you. That's why we're on the Queen of Swords here when it comes to this person. You're not going to have this person undo everything you have worked for. They're still low vibed here. So good for you. Yeah. They see you're abundant now is what I see. Also, if you're in a relationship or when you do get into new, in a new relationship, because I feel like that's your justice coming in. 
Um, they're going to try to sneak back. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you're doing very well financially, and this person wants to sneak back in. Like I said, they're envious. You make it look easy. But you worked hard for what you got, is what I see here. Male or female? Well, Pisces, interesting. All right, guys, let me know in the comments if you resonate with that. And that's what I got for you, Pisces. I will be doing cancer next, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Wish you the best. All right, Cancer, welcome back for your element reading and your individual reading as well for November 30th through December 22nd. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I will be using my Intergalactic Tarot Plus Oracle. And all of my cards, my decks, will be below the video in the description box as well as the timestamps, okay, if you haven't seen that already. Two more shuffles, my guides. Let's see what my guides or your guides have to say to you today for the next couple weeks. All right, let's see what's going on, Cancer. All the way through the middle of December. Happy holidays, guys. Okay, we have Justice coming out strong for the first card. The Death card. Wow. Oof. Enchantress, alluring, mystical, and charming. Wow, a lot of transformation. I'm feeling uh, Rising of the Phoenix here. Ten of Cups. Nice. And the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Oh, you know what I just heard? Somebody is attracted to you like a moth to a flame. Um, they're trying to figure you out is what I'm getting. Because, here, let me just bring this up. Whatever happened here in the past, because we have justice, okay? You went through a serious, a serious transformation here. Where you came out on top here with the phoenix rising, the alluring, the enchantress, the uh, mystical and charming energy. So you went through a lot, okay? You weren't just born this way. <laughs> I was born this way. Lady Gaga, okay? For some of you. Um, And you're headed towards your ten of cups. Okay? For some of you, you're still going through a transformation here. You're about to have a phoenix rising. But for other two of you, I feel like you're tied to someone that is trying to analyze you. They see you differently now. It's like they can't get away from you. They're, they're, you're like the light and they're the moth. The moth to a flame. There's a butterfly here. But again, you, you were in that cocoon state where you had to learn a lot of things, analyze a lot of things. Not just about whatever was not just, but about yourself. And... You could be walking the path of abundance now or aligning to someone here. Okay, they feel like they can't get away. Almost like you came out of nowhere for this person, for some of you. And uh, you created, for some of you, you created a transformation in their life as well. Alright, so let's see what's going on, Cancer, with that. Interesting energies. And definitely with 11 and 8, you could be connected to somebody here. Especially with the Ten of Cups, Justice. I see two people with crowns here, Red String of Faith, and uh, two people here dancing under the rainbow. And the Eight of Cups. You guys will never be the same with whatever you went through here. So let's see, Cancer, what is going on. Let's get into the Light Seers deck. And see what's going on for you guys. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Alright. Two more shuffles for Cancer. One more, one more. Yeah, that Ace of Cups is stay sticking there. So I feel like new love is coming into your life for a lot of you. So let's see. Five of Wands. Mm -hmm. 
Let me tell you what, with this energy, you're going to attract many suitors. Because I feel like you're raising your vibration. Alright? So we have the Five of Wands. Somebody's trying to get to that fire. You emanate that light. Alright? Just You got people just falling over you. Tripping. <laughs> yeah. But you're done with the low vibes, okay? Death card again. A lot of transformation. You're done with the low vibes. Or the drama as well, if you had any drama there. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, what I see here? A lady in the streets. And a freak in the sheets. <laughs> oh yeah, there's two sides there. This is self-worth. Okay, look at her statue. Her statue there, like, mm-hmm. I love myself. I'm independent. I'm a co-creator. I plant seeds. I'm nurturing, giving. Very independent. Beautiful. I mean, I love this. A very a lot of transformation here. You'd never be the same. You shed that old skin. Whatever that was, it wow, it really revealed your inner core there. Because I take that as your inner essence as well. With the alluring and the uh, magical and um, that charming expression. That beautiful energy. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Single and loving it. You, you got many options here. People are drooling over you. Four of Pentacles and the Emperor. Okay, so someone someone interesting is taking notice here with the Emperor. Okay, I feel like they've been holding back, but they see you as a uh, wifey here. Okay, with that Emperor energy. I feel like somebody's in awe of you. It's like, wow, look at her. He looks dumbfounded. Like, what? Like, who in the world is that? You, you turn some some heads of... There's a lot of people here, but there's one in specific. This is the husband material here. The emperor. Okay. Ten of cups. Somebody could be watching you, seeing you as the Ten of Cups. Like, damn, she's changed. <laughs> who this? Cancer, who this? <laughs> For some of you, it's somebody in your past um, or a friend of yours. Maybe somebody you work with. Um, but for others of you, this is somebody brand new. They're like, whoa, hold up. You got this person frazzled. That's what I'm hearing. All right, let's talk about the Five of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of rushing over here. I've seen some rushing, some tripping. People just want to come to you, perhaps. These people are challenges, so they're, they, they're going through some challenges when it comes to getting to you. They don't know what to do. There could be one in specific here that breaks it through the crowd, trying to come to you fast. Somebody's like, I need to go to her fast before somebody else gets to her that's what I'm feeling or him death card the moon Oof. damn this is rebirth to me whatever you went through was this deep this is so deep damn Oof. Oh my god, all of a sudden I feel like a hollowness in my chest. Oh my god, that was so deep. Jesus. Well, <laughs> you definitely went through the depths of your soul to heal something. Okay, like I said, you will never be the same. Good Lord. And if, if you left somebody behind here, they're feeling it deep. It's like a, a somebody's going through like a, yeah a rebirth. It's like a death and rebirth in their emotional body. It's very deep. It, okay, let me let me continue here. 
Yeah, five of cups. Definitely you went through it. Male or female? Yeah, I know. I was feeling you see that deep. And you see the egg. Yeah, definitely somebody's going through a rebirth. Or you already went through that. Because we have the uh, enchantress and alluring here. My goodness. Yeah, you were in the cocoon. But boy, you butterfly now. Whew. That's heavy. Okay, nine of pentacles. Yes. Freedom. That's you busting out of that cocoon. This is uh, somebody wanting to speak to you as well, but this is travel also. You could have moved for some of you, but somebody could want to reach out to you. And I see that here. Somebody's in a rush to get to you. Mm. Stand in line, buddy. Stand in line. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. Four of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Um, somebody's holding on tight to whatever it is they believe in. Okay. Nobody, somebody's stubborn here. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, but I'm also seeing somebody that's holding on to a possibility of having a relationship with you. Because I see somebody here really looking at you like wife material. Alright. Also, this could be the person going through something heavy. This death and rebirth. This emotional purge that I'm seeing here. Uh, Pisces also had some sort of emotional purge energy. So I would look at that if you're connecting to a Pisces, or you have it somewhere in your chart, or your person does. So let's talk about this Emperor. Yeah, there you go. They want to make that offer. Oh, they want to make that offer. That's a big offer. This is a solid offer. Like, look, Cancer, I see you as someone completely amazing on the inside and the outside. Um, like... I've been holding back from talking to you for some time now, but I really see something big here. Like somebody wants to put you in a relationship right here. Do you see this? Nine of Pentacles, single. Somebody wants to reach out. They've been holding back for some time, I feel here. They want a relationship. This right here, for some of you. Wow. Dang. I don't know if this happens, but for some of you, this person wants to tell you they're going to be direct with the Emperor energy. They want to tell you point blank. They see you as wife material, someone they can build with. And they want you to go from single to married. This is not going to be a long engagement if you guys get engaged. But they're, they're going to hold out when it, for some of you when it comes to you know asking you to marry them because... They don't want to scare you off, of course. But somebody's got big plans here. You single over here, just enjoying yourself, having a good time. You know, maybe planting seeds, tending to your own garden. And all of a sudden, somebody's over here like, oh man. I, I gotta have me some cancer. The zodiac sign, of course. Um, somebody wants you deeply in a very genuine way but there's somebody else here that's like oh I better get to cancer before this, somebody else gets a hold of her you have some serious competition here for some of you you held back from getting married for some time till you met somebody like this the emperor somebody making you a solid offer it's like nope you ain't going to open your heart to just anybody. You want somebody that's going to want a relationship. A serious relationship. Something something with someone you can build with. And you got it right here looking at you. You do. I feel like they know this or they're going to know this when they talk to you. So expect serious conversations to be had here. With someone you guys know or you will know. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. This person, um, they are an emperor. So, they could have been married before. They could have children as well. This is somebody that will work with you. 
this is also a contractual agreement here. You definitely, this is somebody you would marry. Okay. Yeah. There's somebody else here. But this is a whole new cycle for you. But I'm telling you, somebody here wants to uh, run over these fools to get to you. And I think it's somebody, other people here. But there's one in specific, maybe somebody that um, was unjust in the past. Wow, okay. Cancer. Let's move on. Let's get some messages here for you from my Expressions of the Fall message medley deck. Nice energy. I like it. One more shuffle for Cancer, my guides. All right. Got to make sure I have it right. All right. False connection, not in love. This came out for Pisces as well. It's a masquerade. So somebody here in your past could have chosen someone else is what I see here with the five of wands. But now they want to run to you because they did love you. Okay. They told you perhaps they didn't, but they do. Okay. With this energy, who wouldn't? Um, you're loving yourself, boy. That's good. And it, they had a mask on. Let's talk about the moon with the death card. I have showed my family and friends your pictures. Great feedback. Yeah, whoever's coming to you, they're going through some serious purging right now. So there, there are a lot of reflection here between people. A lot of mirroring going on here. Especially, you know, we have the moon here. Something, somebody's just going through a rebirth. Oof, it's harsh. Many suitors, see? Choose wisely. And there is somebody here with the Five of Cups that broke your heart. But you have many suitors. Told you. A lot of people looking at you. I have lost interest. Next, please. Yep. <laughs> you, you're you moving forward. You're like, nope. I'm done. That's you moving forward. Spiritually. You're gone. You're in that quantum flow, okay? You're in it. You're you're gone. You're you're like a shooting star away from whatever this was. Okay, let's see hierophant. I might fear what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Go for it. Yeah, somebody has been holding back, but they see a relationship with you. But they had to learn a lot of lessons here. They're, they're going through a, a rebirth, ascension, uh, awakening here. Dark night of the soul energy for sure for this person. But they're looking at you like, holy, holy moly. Let's see. Let's talk about it. Secret getaway. A time for getting to know each other on a deeper level. Yeah, this person wants to take you away. They want to get to know you. Mm-hmm. They do. Let's do another round. It's time to let loose. Time to let your hair down and break free. So, yeah, you broke free from whatever this false connections or connection was. Um, and I see it here as well. So Now, the person that's trying to come back out of these so many suitors that you have here could be trying to you know let their hair down and come see you because all of a sudden you know you're looking quite tasty over here all right and they admire your wisdom the person from the past here or or this new person that's going through it okay yeah it's the person going through the purge I think it's this Emperor Many suitors, be patient with yourself, healing the heart chakra. So you guys are still healing something here as well. There's a lot of purging coming up for you. 
okay so be patient with yourself healing the heart chakra don't let any other suitors like cloud your vision okay because I feel like um, someone here th well, this could be male or female though this could be the person coming to you and they have many suitors um, but also what I'm seeing here is that if this person from the past comes back crying and all this you know just be patient with yourself and love yourself first and foremost don't fall back into their web because I do see somebody here trying to reach out again so let's talk about it you have lost interest great minds think alike shared interest so you're ready for somebody that has your same core values somebody that you can talk to relate to on a mental level not just physically you want to have shared interest with this person let's see what else we've got mm -hmm. somebody has hidden agenda see you have so many people here so that person from the past or the person that this person that is going through this ascension this dark night of the soul if they're the ones that left someone here that person has hidden agendas use protection this person has hidden intentions so somebody could be trying to hold this person back someone they were in a connection with and they are trying to get pregnant here it says I might fear what I'm about to do but I'm gonna do it anyways so yeah so whoever's dealing with that person be careful also if someone's trying to come back to you cancer and you're female be careful they're trying to they're trying to trap you into a connection by getting you pregnant um, but you don't want anything to do with this person but they might be that charming I don't know because this could be this could go both ways with the uh, alluring and charming and mystical this could be someone you had undeniable chemistry with so secret getaway someone here is lying yeah there's somebody else here with this the truth will be revealed to you also for whoever's coming to you I just feel like they're dealing with a lot as well but the truth will be revealed to them somebody's lying to this person they're trying to keep them in a relationship by any means possible so I hate to see it and somebody had gotten the comments about the whole I went through this big reading about twin flames and discussion I don't know if you guys have looked at that somebody went in the comments talking about well it's not the child's fault the child is a blessing the child hasn't even been born yet this is a an agenda of someone right so what I have to say about that is I the Queen protects her King first of all and if someone has a hidden agenda a karmic that you're learning a lesson from that you no longer are in love with that you're planning to leave if that person has a hidden agenda and about getting pregnant about getting pregnant not someone that already is pregnant I think that that person has every right to know their intentions or at least you know the possibility of that intention because you should never have a child from someone without their consent just because you want to trap them in a connection okay and I will address this again when I do a twin flame reading for that person because that person out of their own selfish ways and behavior wants to bring a child into this life not because of the child itself but because they want to keep someone trapped and that is going to create more trauma for the child they're bringing into this life because you cannot keep a man simply by having their child that is the oldest trick in the book and the most low if you ask me so if that person is watching that's my answer to you um, but I will address this again when I do a twin flame reading okay 
So for whoever needs to hear, you know, because I don't know who's watching. This could be the cross watcher watching, male or female. Be careful with someone trying to keep you in a connection because you're breaking free from it. Uh, you're you're shedding that. You're learning a lesson. You're shedding that emotion that it's teaching you something. And somebody wants to keep you in this connection. And with the emperor here, this is somebody that already has children. And already has been married. Yeah, some, some people just try to ruin your life. They try to ruin your life. You know, a child should be something that two people want. And should be something that should be thought out. Yes, mistakes happen and a child is always a blessing. But if somebody has a hidden agenda and trying to get pregnant without someone else's consent, that is just shady business. And they're not thinking about the child. They're thinking about themselves. So that's what I have to say. Anyway, I don't know why I went there with you guys. But I will address it in the Twin Flame reading that I do later on. Probably later in late next week. All right, guys. That's what I have for you. Uh, let me know in the comments if anybody resonates with that and I will and the reason I brought that up this could be a twin flame coming to you that's probably why that's popping up and this is probably one of those energies that I was talking about so for you guys that haven't seen that reading it's a twin flame reading plus a dream revelation and discussion it's long but it's very in-depth and it talks about the karmic and the hidden agendas so for some of you, that's why that came up, because you're dealing with that. Um, anyways, love you guys, and I wish you the best, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.